matters education public schools have for the first time in recent years outshone their counterparts in the private sector uh, as a result of the KCPE national examinations. Now, the recently released 2020 KCPE results shining the spotlight on little known schools in various parts of the country. So what's different in terms of mechanisms that the schools put in play during their preparations? Despite the challenges they faced in matters, resources and technology in regards to learning during the pandemic. Well, Raquel Moigai tells us more. Public schools like Eronga Adventist Primary in Nyamira Kisi, Moi Primary in Nakuru, and Karatina DB in Karatina Nyeri are among the majority of public schools that not only produced top candidates in the country, but also recorded major improvements in their overall min scores. We incorporated the online program. The teachers regularly used to forward a, um, assignments and they were done. They could send the, the marking scheme to them. Parents were monitoring it. And actually when these children came back, you can't believe that they stayed home for long. However, the unspoken fact was that a majority of the public schools barely had any learning take place after schools were shut in March due to COVID-19, contrary to their counterparts in private schools who continued learning, albeit online. When we started the online classes, it took us the whole of May. Some parents were active, others were not active. When we, the class teachers tried to consult, especially the class eight parents, they said that they didn't have money for data bundles. So that in a way affected the online classes. So we can say that online classes did not succeed for us at all. Lakini baada ya kuona mwaka unaenda kuisha, kuna wakati tulikuwa tumekosa matumaini na kwa hivyo tukasimamisha ile ya oza. Tukasema sasa tugoje ili shule ifunguliwe tuendele na masomo. Such challenges were expected to greatly affect the performance of candidates in public schools. That was never the case. Jonathan Wesaya, an educationist, explaining of deeper issues than just that. If you look at the results and you identify that rural children performed better, it may be a function, and this is something I throw out there for my colleagues in the education sector to research on, they had peace of mind for the nine months they were away from school. But children in urban centers who are in private schools where parents were locking them in houses and paying for online classes were online. He says that this could have in turn affected a majority of the learners as not only was it a new way of learning, but the pressure of preparing for the national examination. Helping them handle the learners return to school may have been the difference in the sense that the teachers in the public school went through it a little bit more slower but it worked for them but those in the private sector were hitting the hammer down like we lost time we need to recover this but the children were in distress so it may have affected them by over preparing his belief being what school heads in public schools that failed to implement online learning opted to do. We engage them in activities in the field, games, drama, and so many other extracurricular issues. For one week, the whole week, we were busy with them. The teachers, after the NEC exam, took the low achievers. They could handle them at random. Tuliwa gawanya kwenye makundi. Kila mwalimu akapata wanafunzi wanane. Wengine tukapata wanafunzi tisa ili tuwaelekeze kwenye insha na tuwaelekeze kwenye composition. For these schools, their results are just a stamp of finality that they did what was best for their candidates despite the challenges they faced in learning amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Rakel Mugai, Citizen TV.